Michael Almond VC was an English Second World War recipient of the Victoria Cross, the highest and most prestigious award for gallantry in the face of the enemy that can be awarded to British and Commonwealth forces. Born into a Catholic family in London in 1923, Almond attended Ampleforth College before studying history at Oxford University in 1941. He joined the British Indian Army in 1942 and was commissioned into the Indian Armoured Corps for service in the Far East. He later volunteered to serve with the Chindits and in 1944 saw action against the Japanese during the Battle of Mogong, during which he was killed in action at the age of 20. Early life Michael Almond was born in Golders Green, London, to Professor Arthur John the 1100th and Marguerite Marie Almond on the 22nd of August 1923. Almond's brother is the medieval historian Christopher Almond. He was educated at Ampleforth College, a Catholic boarding school in North Yorkshire, England, before attending Oxford University in 1941 where he studied history. While at Oxford, Almond served as the founding editor of a literary review journal called The Wind and the Rain, and began writing a biography of Edmund Burke. Military career at the end of 1942, amidst the backdrop of the Second World War, Almond left university and joined the British Indian Army. He was commissioned into the Indian Armoured Corps, and assigned to the 6th Duke of Connaught's own Lancers. Almond was sent to India where, following a call from GHQ India, he volunteered for service with the Chindits during the Operation Thursday and was subsequently attached to the 3rd Battalion, 6th Gurkha Rifles. For the operation, 3 6 GR were assigned to the 77th Brigade, under the command of Brigadier Mike Calvert, and divided into two columns. They were flown in by glider to a landing zone code named, Broadway, in the northern Kaukwe Valley on 5 March 1944. Despite heavy casualties and the destruction of a large number of gliders, a stronghold was established and from their columns were sent out to the north and south. The 3 6 GR were sent north towards Malu and Hopin where they probed Japanese defenses. They were later sent north to another stronghold dubbed, Blackpool, where they were tasked with supporting Chinese forces around Mogong and Myathkina under U.S. General Joseph Stilwell, who re-rolled them as conventional infantry. Beginning on 6 June, the 77th Brigade advanced the final 10 miles to Mogong with the intent of capturing it. Amid monsoonal rains and suffering heavy casualties from the fighting as well as tropical diseases, the advance took a heavy toll on the Chindits. They were facing over 4,000 Japanese and by the end of the first week the brigade, having started with over 2,000 men, was down to just 550 and each battalion was at company strength. Initially, Almond was given command of a platoon. However, later he was promoted to acting captain and took over command of a company. On the 11th of June, two days after 3-6 GR had reached the outskirts of the town, Almond's platoon was tasked with capturing a road bridge about 0.25 miles away from the Central Railway Station, close to where the Japanese had established their headquarters in a building dubbed the Red House. During the assault, his platoon took heavy fire and the attack stalled. Leading from the front, Almond went ahead, rallying his troops as he attacked the defenders with grenades in his cookery. He was again in the thick of the fighting on 13 June when, having taken over a company following the loss of its commander, he led an assault to secure some high ground by single-handedly destroying several machine-gun positions. On 23 June, during the final stages of the advance on Mogong, Almond's company was tasked with capturing Natyagan village and securing the railway bridge that spanned the Mogong River. Attacking to the left of the Red House, Almond's company was held up by machine gun fire from an embankment near the bridge. Almond went forward again. His movement hampered by severe trench foot, which had set in due to the poor conditions that the Chindits had faced since starting the campaign in March, he nevertheless fought his way through deep mud and shell holes and knocked out the machine gun with grenades before being wounded. A short time later, another member of 3 6 GR, Tool Bahadur Pun, charged the bridge single handedly, killing the remaining Japanese defenders and securing it for the Gurkhas. Both Tool Bahadur and Almond were later nominated for the Victoria Cross. It was largely due to Almond's bravery that Mogong was captured. Although he was pulled out of the line of fire by another Gurkha, Sergeant Tilbur Gurung, who received the military medal for his act, Almond subsequently died of his wounds early on 24 June. At the time he was just two months short of his 21st birthday. His Victoria Cross was awarded posthumously and was presented to his family by King George VI at Buckingham Palace on 17 July 1945 having been announced in the London Gazette on 26 October 1944. Almond also received the following other decorations, the 1939-1945 Star, the Burma Star and the War Medal 1939-1945. Almond's body is interred at the Taukian War Cemetery in Burma. Victoria Cross Citation The citation in the London Gazette which announced Almond's award reads, Captain Almond was commanding the leading platoon of a company of the 6th Gurkha Rifles in Burma on of June 1944 when the battalion was ordered to attack the Pin HMI road bridge. The enemy had already succeeded in holding up our advance at this point for 24 hours. The approach to the bridge was very narrow as the road was banked up and the low-lying land on either side was swampy and densely covered in jungle. 
The Japanese who were dug in along the banks of the road and in the jungle with machine guns and small arms, were putting up the most desperate resistance. As the platoon come within 20 yards of the bridge, the enemy opened heavy and accurate fire, inflicting severe casualties and forcing the men to seek cover. Captain Almond, however, with the utmost gallantry charged on by himself, hurling grenades into the enemy gun positions and killing three Japanese himself with his kukri. Inspired by the splendid example of their platoon commander the surviving men followed him and captured their objective. Two days later Captain Almond, owing to casualties among the officers, took over command of the company and, dashing 30 yards ahead of it through long grass and marshy ground, swept by machine gun fire, personally killed a number of enemy machine gunners and successfully led his men onto the ridge of high ground that they had been ordered to seize. Once again on June 23 in the final attack on the railway bridge at Mogong, Captain Almond, although suffering from trench foot, which made it difficult for him to walk, moved forward alone through deep mud and shell holes and charged a Japanese machine gun nest single-handed but he was mortally wounded and died shortly afterwards. The superb gallantry, outstanding leadership and protracted heroism of this very brave officer were a wonderful example to the whole battalion and in the highest traditions of his regiment. Legacy The Victoria Cross Medal remained in Almond's family's possession until 1991, when it was presented to the Regimental Trust in Hong Kong. Later, in 2003, the medal was donated to the Gurkha Museum at Winchester in Hampshire, England. Almond's life is commemorated in the memorial window at the St. Edward the Confessor Catholic Church in Golders Green, London. Almond is named on the Chindit Memorial, Memorial Gates and the Oriel College War Memorial. He is also commemorated in John Bunting's Scotch Corners Chapel, a chapel on the edge of the North Yorkshire Moors dedicated to the war dead of Ampleforth College. The Michael Almond Trophy is presented by the Combined Cadet Force Contingent at Ampleforth College to the cadet who scores the highest in their leadership competition. Almond is also commemorated in the library of Ampleforth where a painted portrait hangs.